Right, what we're going to be doing today is electrolysis of water. Now, what we've got is what we call a Hoffman voltometer. Now, we've got water in these. We've got an electrode on each side here, and this is connected up to a power pack. So if I switch this on, I'll start to see bubbles being produced from both of these. Now, the way this works is where the bubbles come up, the gas starts collecting here and pushes down, which channels the water up into this escape bit here. Now see it starting to bubble away there, it's starting to collect. Now water is made up of two parts, two part hydrogen, one part oxygen. So as you start to see it, this one will start collecting much faster, twice the amount. That'll be the hydrogen getting collected there and that'll be the oxygen. Now the way we test for hydrogen is what we call the squeaky pop test. We'll be taking a lit flame and put it into the test tube at the top. Now, when the hydrogen contacts the flame, it'll explode and it'll create a little squeaky pop. When we do the test for oxygen, we put in a, wooden, a glowing wooden splint into it and it should hopefully relight it. So we'll just leave this for a few seconds to collect. We can already see it's starting to collect more here than on here. So we'll just leave it for a few minutes just to settle away. Right, that hopefully should be enough hydrogen that we can test with. So, just going to light the splint up, and we'll do. Right, just quickly turn the lab pack off. Purge a bit of hydrogen in. There we go. Do a test for oxygen now. Yep, there we go. Let's relit the splint. Yep. 